What's up guys? My name is Ben Cheston. You're watching Notch em and Watch em. Today's video, we're gonna be going over the thought process behind rope placement, rigging setup, etc. Anyway, let me show you what we got here. We got this dead oak tree. I guess it's, it must have got a blight or something, but I mean, it's right over the house, fairly big, a lot of rigging involved. You know, you ask yourself when you get here, where do I put my climbing line? You know, where am I gonna put my rigging line? And obviously all that stuff will change sometimes when you get in the tree, but there's different factors to the decision making. And uh, you know, one of the things we try to look for when we're rigging is where's the limb gonna swing down? So we always try to put the pulley somewhere where you know, the limb will be right where the guys want to grab it and not over the house. And then as far as the tie-in line, you want it high enough where you can traverse the whole tree. I always look for a top that I can cut without rigging it, but I don't think that's going to be possible with this. We'll talk a little bit more about it when we get up there. I'm going to climb it. Daryl's going to climb it. Not really sure. Either way, you guys are sitting shotgun. So we're going to fight over this, bud, or what? Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna fight. He wants to do it, but <laughs> he wants to do it, but I want to do it. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? I don't know if we can figure this one out, Daryl. I mean, <laughs> looks like the weeble wobbles got to it. The flying cheetah willies. The flying cheetah willies. The weedle beetles. So what are we gonna do, Crow? Are we gonna whim it, or are we gonna take a couple whims off and do a whim, 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 pow? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a shorty doo-wop tree too, you know? Shorty doo-wop. My favorite kind of tree. <laughs> Is that Mr. Notchum and Boychum? You ever seen the biceps on that guy? Got my little eyelet there. You got your uh, trusty Omni block. Got my, that's my bling bling right there. Cha ching, cha ching. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did I you mean, see been that in hit? the game a long time, cuz. <laughs> Get my pulley wrapped around the neck, cuz. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Y'all need a groundy that does this. I mean, set you all up, everything's ready. You know what I'm saying? We need to give him a raise today. <laughs> there was like, shut your mouth. No, sir, we don't pay in pesos. <laughs> <laughs> we pay American dollars to my man right here. Yeah, baby. Dude, if I go out on that limb just a little bit, I think I can send that whole thing. On the way up here from the ground, I determined this is the lead I wanted to go up to tie in. You always want to do that before you go up in there, but... Sometimes it changes. Sometimes it changes, but I like to pick my tying point from the ground. Oh no, that one actually looks that one actually looks better for real. Yeah, that's way better. Place to tie in. I was gonna go up that side, but once I saw that top, I thought, nah, I kinda like that one better. And I still, I still once I get all this out of the way. I don't even think I gotta rope it. And that's what I'm saying. Sometimes that can be a, a decision maker too for me, where if you have to rope the top out or not. I try to avoid that, even though it's fun sometimes. Especially on an old dead tree like this, you know. I mean, this thing's only been dead for about a year. Man, it's an oak tree there. Trust the old oak. Get off of there.
He's got Roman numerals on his forehead, bud. <laughs> the more tattoos you have when you go, if you go in there, the cooler you are in there. So they're, you know, they were just trying to fit in. And now when you come out here to the real world, you look like a, you look uh, kind of crazy, but I think they, you probably ain't got to tell them that. They probably already figured that out. <laughs> That's why I didn't go in there and get a whole bunch of them, you know? I just didn't want to come out looking like a crazy person. Dude, that's where I think I can bomb this piece. If I can bomb her, I'm bombing her. That's it, that's what we like. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna kind of knife this down and it's gonna go flinging back. Well, nah, hold on a second. There's a fence right there. Never mind. The fence is hidden, bud. Yeah, it's it's got ivy growing all over it. I just noticed it. It's right. Uh huh. I was getting ready to send it too. <laughs> I was like, oh, whoa, whoa. But yeah, it's really hard to explain you know the the thought process behind rigging and rope setup because it's it's different every time you know you assess it from the ground you get up in the tree and you're like oh that ain't gonna work that's why you guys just got to keep watching my videos and then you'll figure out the uh shorty's like shut up man let's rope the limb <laughs> Well, I tell you, I'm really liking this weather, man. I think that's why we're so excited. We're like a couple of horses on a real, on a real crisp winter day, kicking in a bucket. Dude, I need to get you a microphone, bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna order a. a I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let me rephrase that. Yeah, no, like you know, like you see those news people have them on their like shirt. I just need to put that on the guy on the ground, and then that way I can. That way they can hear all of your silly antics, I think is the word. <laughs> He's a very silly guy. About as silly as me. Oh boy. All right. All righty. I'm gonna try and send it through there, Shorty, but it's gonna get hung up on that branch. You know what I mean? I'll try and cut it fast so it drops. Maybe I'll cut it right here and then just let it drop. And kind of a knife cut on it. Nice work. This rope's like an oldie but goodie. I need to order me another one, man. Hey, Daryl, how many months do you get out of your rope? About six months, eight months? Yeah, a year if nobody cuts it. He had the rope in a natural crotch and it was smoking, <laughs> but I don't know why. <laughs> We well, say if the mud flaps ain't dragging the ground on the ton truck and the rope didn't smoke, you ain't no tree man.
Bitty bitty boo boo. I should have put my little uh, false crotch up there, dude. I don't know what I was thinking. Hey. <laughs> guys one thing to remember you always want your rigging point high enough to catch all the limbs below you but you don't want it too high so that it's on a limb that's smaller and won't hold the weight of the limbs
I'm gonna rope with that side. You gonna do this side. I had to redirect it around this fork. See, and that way the rope is pulling right here and, it, and it's, it's compressing the weight instead of dragging it down. You don't want that. Like it'd be like a bow and arrow. You gotta at least have it redirected around the, the main fork. Anyway, now we're ready to do something guys. Come down and get that one, Shorty. Ever since I took that ride, when I do my rope, I like to have it redirected on that middle fork. If it goes straight from the quarter wrap to that limb, it's not good, man. Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Killed it. If you guys are enjoying these videos and finding some value to them hit that bell so you know when we upload and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that now it really helps the channel but anyway let's get right back to it shorty's like what is this dude doing up here man like daryl would have been done with the tree <laughs> la 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 i had this chick named perry she had a nice cherry somebody hit the button on me oh now we're gonna hit him with the ping pow whammo. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take that limb off and then go out there, tie it about there at that limb there and cut it right here. We're gonna cutty, cutty, cutty. One time I slipped on my gas and, and my whole shoulder come out of my socket, dude. Dude, I almost passed out up here. It hurt so bad. That's why I'm always so anal about doing that double wrap thing. One more yim, a couple more yops. Two, three yops. Hey, is your jaw tight? Tight? He's like, shut up.
right, shorty. Tell you what, man, it don't get no prettier. That sucker is a pro, Jack. I think I can just knock his top. So Yeah. You ready? That boy knows how to rope a top, I can tell you that. Maybe. Phew. Yeah, I'll put a rope in it. Lasso. The big one. Like the tuna. <laughs> Old Bobby's going on some fishing trip. He's, he's on it, ain't he? He's with it. Oh, where there's a will, there's a way. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, bud. Technical difficulties. All right. <laughs> Did you hear him, Daryl? Hey, I might rope a couple of these, Daryl. It's just all crooked and it's right over that daggone thing.
you have a bad day, you just make a pot of beef stew or something, you know? such a lean right here. I mean, I could try to notch these pieces and have you pull them over there, but man, I don't know, dude. When in doubt, rope them out. Right? look for that too right above where I'm cutting my notch that way it's just an extra little knob to hold that rope For dry eyes, use clear eyes. <laughs> oh. I was cutting that tree yesterday and the wind was blowing so bad. And it was blowing it right, it was blowing the sawdust right in my face, man. of the year 100 now i see why everybody can, says daryl can climb so good <laughs> it ain't you it's shorty <laughs> what do you think about putting a pulley on that papa tree daryl and throwing it from here oh yeah, daryl said don't ask me nothing as shorty <laughs> i think i didn't hurt his feelings a little bit the 500 please Give me another blast, Daddy. I went to the moon on that one. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I'm, good thing we got on-site uh, mechanics here. Viva la raza! <sighs> All right. I'm going to get you all to pull it. I'm going to cut it down there. and I don't know, man. That thing's got a nasty little lean to it, dude. It's got to notch it right, I guess.
Yeah, and everybody always asks me why I cut it so high on the stump. And really, it's just for convenience. And then I come back and do a stump cut. And, or, the higher you cut up on the stump, the less distance the log goes. And a lot of times, that's, that's the other reason. We're not logging these trees, we're removing them. Man, what a fun takedown that was. You know, I'm trying to do my best to give you guys some little nuggets of knowledge as I'm doing these takedowns the best that I can. Hopefully that explained a little bit of the rigging process and the thought process behind where you put your tie in rope, you know, where you put your rigging. I'll continue to do that on my videos because every tree is different. Every scenario is different. You know, there's a whole lot of things you gotta watch out for. I learned a lot of it, honestly, by trial and error. Anyway, that's all I got for now, so we'll catch you guys on the next one.